What is going on you guys? It is your girl Terry Mac and today I wanted to go over my favorite moisturizer which is the Embrelease La Creme Concentrate. It is a French brand, however, all the makeup artists do have it in their makeup bag, especially during fashion week and all those cool super events that I obviously do not go to. However, I was introduced to this when I was working at Nordstrom. One of my coworkers gave me a sample and I fell in love with this product ever since. Now, it's really hard to find this product in a lot of stores. Um, so I typically buy this online at dermstore.com. However, if you're in New York, you can find this at Urban Outfitters um, and some other stores out there too as well. But as far as like other places, I think that it's not really common in a lot of stores. So I strictly go to dermstore.com, but I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon too. But I'll leave links down below if you guys just wanna go ahead and check it out. So this moisturizer does come into a old school kind of packaging. It does come into a white and blue aluminum tube which comes with about 2.5 fluid ounces in it. Now the texture of this is not too thick and not too thin. I personally think it's the right consistency as far as a product. This moisturizer is scented too as well. It has a floral scent towards it which I personally do not think is strong and I do not mind the smell. However, if you do not like fragrance in your products or in your moisturizers or anything like this, this is not going to be for you. You can totally smell this, um, but for me, I don't mind the smell. I personally like the smell and after I would say about 30 minutes to an hour, it goes away. It's not a strong smell to me, but each to their own, um, but I think it smells pretty good and I put it on my neck too and it gives me that kind of like fresh kind of smell um, before I head out the door and go on with my day. Now I have normal skin type. Um, prior though, I did have more of combination skin. In my T-zone, it would get extremely oily, but I was still using this product. Like I said, I've been using this product for years and it still didn't give me that greasy, oily look, which I love. Now what I use this moisturizer for is not just a moisturizer, but also as a primer. So after doing my skincare routine and doing my toner and applying this on, before it completely sets onto my skin, I like to get my liquid foundation and go ahead and apply it on top of it. And when it kind of like sets in, it gives you that nice dewy glow. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, the dewy glow that all the girls love, whatever, without once again having your face looking extremely greasy. Um, I actually have it on right now too. And just touching my skin, it doesn't feel sticky at all or like the product is moving. Um, I really feel like it sets really well and also on the packaging it says that you can use it as a moisturizer, a makeup primer, a mask, and a makeup remover. Now I don't use it for all those, I slowly just use it for a moisturizer and a primer. I kill two birds with one stone applying this on in the morning and getting me out the door. Which if you know me, I'm always on the go so if I can save some time and some type of routine, I'm all for it. This moisturizer also has shea butter and soybean in it, which is really good for your skin. It has those components in it that keeps your skin really moisturized and giving you that nice glow. I can totally see why all the makeup artists are really into this moisturizers when they're using other clients or during fashion week or whatever the scenario is. Applying the moisturizer on your face and using it as a primer, it really smooths things out, give you a nice blank canvas to go ahead and put that foundation on to eliminate any wrinkles or anything like that. Not saying you guys have it, but it definitely gives you a nice smooth canvas to go ahead and apply your makeup on it. So I definitely do like this. Some cons about this moisturizer um, is that for $20 retail price, 2.5 fluid ounces of just moisturizer in here um, is pretty expensive because it's only just hydrating your skin. It's not really doing anything else. There's no cool benefits towards it. So they're just saying for $28 retail price, it is pretty expensive. Another thing too is once again, it is scented. A lot of people don't like smells. So once again, if you're not into the whole entire fragrance thing, this may not be for you. But other than that, I think this is a amazing moisturizer that I've been using and probably will continue to use, especially as a primer. It does leave my foundation um, really smooth and giving that nice dewy look without it looking greasy or anything like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my favorite skin moisturizer, the Emberlease La Creme Concentrate. I will leave the information down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase it. Um, but make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. 
Comment down below what are your favorite moisturizer and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. And yeah, until then guys, have a good one. Bye.